just for people waking up today, prevent something set up by the Labour government in 2003, a security-based initiative? How does it work? What is it meant to achieve, would be my first question. Prevent is uh, one of the government's four Ps because the, uh, the counter-terrorism strategy has protect, prepare and pursue. The most difficult part is prevent, dealing with communities. And what it's done actually over the last decade and a half is to try to fund projects that bring communities closer together and uh, increase empowerment and capacity of Muslim communities and others. And it also includes something called the Channel Programme which provides one-to-one -one mentoring for vulnerable individuals. This is men and women, mainly young people, but some older ones, who are deemed at risk to be recruited by terrorist groups, who are given one-to-one -one mentoring by a nationwide network of about 50 to 100 mentors uh, who provide that, uh, the mentoring to turn them away from terrorism. So that's the dream, Chief Superintendent Dal Babu. In your experience uh, working for the former Metropolitan Police, was that the reality? I, th I think that was the, the idea, and I think the idea makes a lot of sense. You identify individuals who are vulnerable to being radicalised and actually you deal with them. The reality is mm. it's a scheme that doesn't have the buy-in from the community. I mean, in fact, the Quillian Foundation worked with Tommy Robinson uh, and tried to de-radicalise him. And he then claimed that he'd, he made all kinds of allegations about receiving payments. So, so, so if you look at Quillian Foundation, if you look at the uh, Prevent uh, programme, they have not been very successful and they haven't got the confidence of the community. I think it's very easy, certainly when you're doing something like this, to look at an initiative and be quite cynical about it. It, it would sound good if you're you know, promoting within a community harmony, if you're trying to say that to young people who might be radicalised, you know, come here, talk to us. If that's not the answer, what is? Well, that's a really good point. The, the answer is to make sure that we focus on safeguarding and vulner, uh, vulnerabilities. And actually, you've hit the nail on the head. What, what works? And what works is a community-based project where you go in, you look at all aspects of safeguarding, not just radicalisation, because if you focus on radicalisation... Well, what when, other aspects do you mean? Uh, well, child sexual exploitation, right. gang membership. So you look right. at it in the whole. Okay. All of those individuals. If you look at the individuals that have been committing these horrendous, horrendous crimes, they are involved in gangs. They're involved mm. in crime generally. So you can't just say it's just radicalisation. And I think that's where Prevent has gone wrong. So what we need is a more comprehensive system that looks at safeguarding across mm. the piece. And there are schemes, projects uh, that have been started that deal with all aspects of safeguarding uh, because it, it's, it's foolish to suggest that we don't need something and you can't arrest your way out of this. I and mean, what we're no. seeing is a new system where individuals are getting some, a couple of knives, hiring a car and just causing mayhem and murder on, on the streets mm. of Europe. So, so we need to think about things differently. Dr Hanan, let's put that back to you then. Um, by focusing so much on security and terrorism, you're missing the bigger picture within communities, which can lead to uh, finding the vulnerable people in a much stronger way. Uh, no, I think uh, there's, there's a complete misunderstanding here. Uh, with Mr. What Mr. Babu has said about uh, gangs and things actually doesn't apply at all to the Westminster Bridge attacker and the London Bridge attacker, uh, the ringleader of the London Bridge uh, attack, for example. There was a clear influence of ideology, extremist ideology in this. And uh, our work in terms of reducing far-right extremism, Prevent looks at far-right extremism as well, because we've had far-right terrorism in this country with the murder of Joe Cox and the attack on Finsbury Park Mosque, for example. Uh, Quilliam Foundation did some work. Uh, Tommy Robinson uh, went backwards, uh, and we've openly condemned him for that. But some years ago, there was some movement and a lot of ex- EDL members actually left that group and are now working with, with Muslims. So that work is difficult and it, and it must continue. What we mustn't give into is reactionary groups who were led originally by Anjum Chowdhury and his friends who tried to undermine Prevent uh, and tried to stop its work. Dr. Hussain, can, can I just... Dr. Hussain, can I put to you uh, and uh, Dal as well, and th this might appear cynical, it's not. As I said just then, it's very easy to be cynical about something, but are people who are carrying out some of the most appalling things we've ever seen in this world, it was only last week the horror in Barcelona, can we really, whatever our think tank or our group set up, 
Can we change that? Can we essentially, whether we go back to where they came from, their social setting, their upbringing, whatever you think, is it possible or are these people beyond help? Can they be turned? Can we turn them back? Can we stop them? From carrying out these well, I think we've got to try. We, we, you know, you're absolutely right. It's, you know, some people will say you know, this is beyond the, the pale. This is very, very difficult to turn these individuals around. And, and you may well be right with some individuals. And those individuals need to be locked up to keep us all safe. Uh, but what we can't do is give up. I think the reality is when when people look at the critics, or, uh, people who are saying actually prevent isn't working, it's not the mad mullers. You know, you've got David Anderson, the independent reviewer of terrorism legislation. You've got Baroness Wasi, the chairman of the mm. former chairman of the Conservative Party. Mm. You've got Andy Burnham, for the elected mayor of, of Manchester. So I think what the the people who are supporting Prevent are basically saying: Look, it's just the mad mullers that are saying it. Actually, it is normal mainstream people who are saying: Actually, it's not working. Let's let's do something different. And I'm not saying. Let's look, stop doing it. I'm saying let's do it with the engagement of the community. Let's do it across all areas of safeguarding. Let's make it work with the community, with the su support of the community.